Braden, what other amazing entertainment is there for us? Yeah, well, very excited about this one, actually. And Mel and I are in the same boat when it comes to films like The Ring. And, of course, Rings is out now. This is the third in the franchise. Very, very excited ahead of this, but I'm sorry to say, I didn't really deliver it for me in terms of what I would expect from a Ooh. film like this. I remember being a teenager and seeing the first one, and there was all these stories about, and I know Mel's seen them, the, the Japanese version of The Ring. <gasps> Um, Terrifying. Very, very scary, but this is the whole, if, you, if you're not familiar with the story or you need a bit of a reminder, of course, it was the videotape that goes in and, it, you know, it's it's odd and obscure and we were all left kind of wondering what happened. Mm -hmm. Now, this has got um, Johnny Galecki from Big Bang Theory in it as well, so there's some star power here, but... I thought this and then I checked re other reviews to see if I was in the same boat. People saying, no major scares, kind of pointless. Why did they bother going for round three? But have a wee look at this clip anyway. So I feel a bit bad not being kind about this, but I'm just one of those people that has to collect the set. So if there's one movie, I see it. If there's yeah. three or ten, I, I've still got to see it. But I was just left kind of going, ah, oh, maybe we've moved on. It's been, what, 15 odd years but, but since then? There's only so many times that you yeah. can have someone watch a video and then have to find somebody else yeah. to show it to within seven days exactly. before they, oh, they die, don't yeah. you? Uh, T2 train spotting out now as well, and of course this came with a whole lot of expectations, particularly from you, Mel. I know you're very <laughs> excited about this. Yes. Um, I'm wondering whether your review matches that of of most reviewers around the world saying, eh, "Yeah, cinematography good, but I was left." Do you want wanting. me to tell you what I thought about Please it? Please do. I was really looking forward to it. Uh, I loved Danny Boyle's work, and I loved the first one. It was. Individually, bits of the movie were incredible. The mm. cinematography, amazing. The way they've done it, the four lead characters are back and it's the same people, mm. so they incorporate the old movie into the new movie. Yeah. But it just left me wanting a little bit. Like, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't love it. And that's the key, it. left me wanting is a, is a term that I keep hearing. Again, I feel really bad for saying this because it is the original, an absolute classic. Great mm. soundtrack. And, and mm -hmm. did they need to go back? Um, I wanted to play a clip that, that's he, he's on the top of the car, but so much swearing in it, I couldn't actually play it at this time on the television. <laughs> I'd really like to. So I thought I'd play this one, which I thought had a nice wee quirky funny end to it. So there's this room service guy, right? And he comes into the room and there is Georgie Best lying on the bed with two Playboy models, three in a bed, champagne and a wee bit of Charlie and there's banknotes. But they're lying on the banknotes. Lying on the money? Yes. Why? I don't know, because he has a lot of money. Or at least he had a lot of money at the time, anyway. The room service guy, he comes in and he sees this scene that I just described to you and he says, George Best. Greatest footballer of all time. Exactly, the greatest footballer of all time. I have to ask you, where did it all go wrong? <laughs> so nice. for me, visually good, uh, yeah. the soundtrack good, the, the, but yeah, again, if you need to collect the whole set, then then just watch, watch it, it in moments. Yeah. Don't expect the huge storyline. Just yeah. keep watching the moments and enjoy those. Mm. No, but that's good because now, now I know that it's out. I haven't heard too much about it. And Danny yeah. Boyle, you know, has been recently in the yeah. country as well. And with you giving us those reviews, <laughs> it means that I could maybe go and. So I just out. feel like a bit of a Grinch today, though. Oh, both the right. films I've kind of yeah. This, though, uh, the other end of the spectrum, Pop-Up Globe last year was just an absolute feast. I'm going to start raving now. <laughs> and they have opened at Ellerslie in Auckland now. Of course, incredible titles with this one. I say titles. Works of William Shakespeare, Othello, As You Like It, Much Ado About Nothing, and Henry V as well. And some great names, names behind this. Miriama McDowell directing one of the pieces. You've got Rawiri Paratine in there as well. Also Te Kohi Tuhaka for a bit of visual eye candy, if you <laughs> like that sort of thing. Um, and they, this I expect to be another incredible season, seeing Shakespeare's works as they were meant to be seen mm. in, the, in the second yeah. Globe Theatre. That was a bit bigger than the one that we just showed on screen, though. Yeah, by the way. It is. that was the <laughs> that was the markup when they were making it. But a lot of thought has gone into this one. And the Hollies. Now, this is a bit of me, actually. If you're a bit nostalgic, they're at the Michael Fowler Centre in Wellington tonight. Hear how they sound today. He 
So that's Wellington tonight. You've got Black Barn tomorrow night in Hawke's Bay, and then what? They, they, got, they were allowed to light things in the audience. Absolutely. Are you sure that's what it looked like a rest time concert. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it sounded what? great though. It sounded amazing. <laughs> Careful, Mike. You are My over flame. a certain age. <laughs> yes, true, true. You're right. Uh, but I like that sort of stuff. It takes me back to a place. It takes me back to listening Radio Scenic Land when I was a kid. Nice. No, they um, sounded great though. And yeah. and Bay Park in uh, Tauranga Sunday as well. Be nice to the Hollies. Mm. They're old. Okay. <laughs> Don't be so, so condescending then. Thank you so much, Braden. Really good to get those reviews. No.